All right, so today I wanna to talk about using AI for documenting your code or writing comments in your code. Um, if you've watched my channel before, you know I've talked about AI in the past and people come away with it thinking I am an AI hater. I promise I'm not, I'm not an AI doomer. I'm not an AI, AI hater. I'm just skeptical of it. I'm very skeptical of new technology in general and I'm critical of it. And I think people should be. Um, but I wanna talk about it. it's very real. People are obviously using AI, especially like students or junior engineers who are just getting into the field or getting into tech in general. They're using it, it's here to stay. It's like the advent of the calendar, uh, the calendar, the calculator. Like, you know, you're not gonna have a calculator everywhere you go. It's like, well, maybe I am. Um, so let's learn to live with it instead of um, hiding away from it. But there's this recurring thing, and I notice people comment this on my videos, and they're like, oh, AI is great for the boring stuff. It lets me automate the boring stuff. And hey, I write a lot of bash scripts. I love automating boring stuff. Like, I'm all for that, man. Um, but they always say, the one that they always come back to is it lets me document my code. So what I get to do is I get to write all the code, I get to make it do what I want, and then I can just say, hey, AI, go document this. And when I hear that, that completely rubs me the wrong way. I do not like it. And I've had to sit down with my thoughts and think like, what's wrong with this? And I think fundamentally the issue is um, putting the cart before the horse, mistaking cause and effect, doing things in reverse order, something like that. Um, very simply, I don't think you should write code and then your documentation should be derived from that code, especially in this example, we're talking about like, you know, Chad, GPT, Claude, I don't care what your LLM is. You're giving a code that you wrote. It's not the author of it. It doesn't know your intent. Each line of code is exactly the same to it. It doesn't know how important or unimportant these lines of code are, assuming you don't comment your code. So when it goes through it, it has to just infer your intent and infer what the behavior is. Now, if you're a perfect coder, hey, you know, I can look at a function. If you have a function called is odd and you're modularly dividing by two and checking to see if it's equal to one, I can kind of guess what your code is doing. You know what I mean? Um, but when you have these complex chains of logic in your code, suddenly it's like, I have to start assuming I know what the programmer meant. And when I look at a hundred lines, how do I know which part of this is good, which part of this program thing, the programmer thinks this is bad, this should be swapped out eventually, or this is completely important and this is fundamental for the algorithm that's working here. I want comments in your code, I want an explanation. So I worry when I hear people saying that they use AI to document your code because the AI doesn't know what your code is supposed to do. It can only infer its meaning. Only you, the programmer, the intelligent designer behind that code, the watchmaker making that watch, you are the one who knows how it's supposed to work. So you know how to document it. You know how to talk about its failure modes. You know how to talk about how it breaks, what it expects, what it should return, how it should function, how a user should call it ideally, um, what the invariants are. Like you know that you should be documenting this. And if you've watched my channel before, you know I like to take a documentation first approach. I'm not saying I do it all the time. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying I don't like iterating on things and then having to go back and document things. Like, of course, I'm a human being. But I really like to come up with what's the goal of this project? I like to come up with the exact goal, the purpose of it, and that goes all the way down the chain. So when I'm writing code, I like to think, okay, what's the purpose of this file? What's the purpose of this function? And what's the purpose of this line of code? Now, if my line of code is let a equal seven, like I think it's pretty obvious. No, actually, you know what, now that I say that, no, I mean, I just described a magic number. So if you're gonna say let a equal seven, I wanna know where seven came from and why you came up with it. Um, each line of code is gonna be that important. Like, I'm, that's just as simple as that. Um, I don't need a comment in front of a, curling, a closing brace saying this closes the if statement above it. Like, I don't, I don't need that. But what I'm saying is, when you know what you're trying to create, don't give it to something else to say, hey, give me your best guess at what I'm trying to do here. Um, it's not your therapist. You're not supposed to throw thoughts at it and have it spit back a coherent worldview for you. Um, no, you're supposed to figure that out with your program. You're the programmer. You're the one coming in with the idea. You should have an idea of what is this thing supposed to do and write that out. Start with that. So I think that's fundamentally what my issue is here, where people are like, oh, I just wrote the code and then have it documented. Like, stop, like, stop. Don't even write code yet. Go write your native language and say what your goals are. Like, say what you want this code to do, what it does, and when you go write a function, write what you think this function's supposed to do. Um, because fundamentally, I don't want, I'm just gonna keep repeating myself, I don't want this logic, something outside of myself, to infer how this thing works. It 
at best could maybe get 100%. At best, it could do it, but it's already up here in my brain. I should just be describing how it works. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on that. Quick little yap session. It's just one of those things where uh, when I hear that specifically and people are like, I'm having AI write my documentation, I think this is bad. Who wants to read that? Is that documentation going to get put back into an LLM and then someone's going to summarize it for it? Like who, the question used to be, who are we writing code for? But now it's like, who are we writing documentation for? Like that's, that should be programmer to programmer or programmer to user, obviously, depending on if it's like a manual or if this is like a developer node or a comment and code, they all have their different roles. Um, but yeah, I think it's important to say like, who is this documentation for? Like when I'm documenting a function, I'm usually documenting it for myself and any other programmer that has to deal with it. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on that. Um, I, I don't know how others feel about it, but yeah, it's one of those things where if you're using AI to document things, I think you're doing it backwards. I think you're doing it backwards. You shouldn't be doing that way. That doesn't mean I think you should be using AI to write code and then you document it. No, that's not what I'm saying. Um, I just don't think you should start with the code and then try to infer meaning out of it. I think you should start with your goals and then make the code align to that. That way, when you have the documentation that says it should work like this, when your code doesn't work like that, only when you have that documentation can you say that your code is wrong. If you don't have that documentation, if you don't have something that describes how the function should work, Who's to say what's a bug and what's not a bug? I can find a syntax error. That's probably, you know, that would, that would be a syntax error. I can't look at your behavior and determine if it's a bug or not. I can infer that it might be wrong, but I can't tell unless you give me documentation that specifically says, here is how this thing is supposed to work. That way, when I look at the code, I can be like, oh, well, it's not working like that. So it's wrong. I think that's what I'm saying. Once you have the documentation, now I can start calling code wrong. I can actually start finding bugs because I know how things are supposed to work. Um, so yeah. If, if this is you, if this is describing you, uh, I'm sorry, but I, I don't mean that to hurt, but these are my thoughts on it. And I think you should try try starting with the document documentation. Start, try starting there. And yeah, that's it. Those are my thoughts. See ya.